And welcome back. I am joined here for the pregame show by Hunted and Nito Queen. We're going to talk about these standings first and the acquisition of Upper 90, or of Witchcraft that Upper 90 got. Uh, Hunted, Nito Queen, how you doing? Doing great. good. Yeah, great. All right. And yeah, I mean, you mentioned you mentioned Witchcraft getting picked up by, by Upper 90 and... You know, I I don't think there's a team more deserving of getting an actual org uh, behind them than than Witchcraft. I mean, not just for the WCBC, but they have a legitimate shot at you know making uh, rival series at least getting close uh, at the very least to to qualifying for the rival series. So uh, it's really cool, and I'm really excited for them. No, I agree completely with what Hunton said about being the most, one of the most deserving to to get a team behind them, and it was really exciting to see that notification pop up on my screen. You know, a team from from the league getting picked up, being recognized because they played some really great Rocket League last week. I can't wait to see what they do this week too. Yeah, I absolutely agree. You know, they had that the only game actually, the only matchup that didn't go. A 3-0. They had a really tough matchup against uh, Chaosy that they ended up winning in Game Five, three to two. Uh, and so let's talk about that with Scarlet Wing, 72 PC, G, Sekera Blues in Upper 90, one and zero right now. Um, you know, who's looking the strongest right now? I mean, Scarlet Wings. They did really well against Extreme Zone, and uh, now the number one and two teams are going to face off and as a precursor to that actually we did play that yesterday that's a recorded one and we will be playing that as the um fourth matchup today but i'm not going to give you any spoilers <laughs> um i i'm really excited to see scarlet wings play against somebody that um can hold you know a whole series against them um not to say anything against extreme zone but a scarlet wings is an established team that they've been playing together for for a little while now so uh it'll be interesting to see where they when they end up after that yeah and just to, on the back of that as well you know the scarlet wings i kind of mentioned that in, in the video a little bit too is that they just haven't been challenged yet i mean extreme zone a new team for the WCBC, you could tell that they were having some of those growing pains, trying to get used to playing with one another. Um, and the Scarlet Wings just kind of dismantled them in week one. So, you know, going up against the 72 PC team that comes into the week, uh, you know, struggling a little bit on their own, but they they were able to take the victory off of Mizuno playing so well. Uh, it It's exciting to see such an early matchup that could have big implications down the line. Absolutely. So then let's talk about the uh, last live match that we'll see today. That we'll see right before that one. Chaosy and Boosted E-Girls. These are on the other side of the pitch. The only two 0-1 teams that will be facing each other. Now Chaosy, obviously, you know, with that incredible five-game series against Upper 90. Super fun to watch. And then Boosted E-Girls uh, had the loss to 72 PC. Well, when it comes to that matchup, obviously one of the teams will be, you know, one and one and the other will be 0 and 2 after the week and you don't want to find yourself in that kind of 0 and 2 hole, especially when there's only 7 weeks. It's it's tough to kind of build yourself out of that, but you know, both of the teams played well last week. They just couldn't pull out victories. I mean, you know, Chaosy, of course, the the five game uh wonderful series they played against upper 90 and you know for sure with her defensive prowess just uh it they scream a team who can put it all together and i think this week is going to be the week that we see that yeah i, I i'm really going to be interested to see matchups that uh people have a little bit more room to shine and a little bit more even as far as um just the team compositions. Uh, I think this is going to be a good week for it. The first, the first matchup is going to be interesting again. Extreme Zone is going to have to really pull it together. They had their test last week uh, with with the Scarlet Wings, another team that's really established, and now they're up against U90. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, and uh, I misspoke earlier. It was Upper 90 against Basic Bitches. Um, sorry, 
uh, right. la- last week. And Sakura Blues actually took on Kayazi. And so let's talk about them next. Sakura Blues versus Basic Bees. Um, Sakura Blues with the strong 3-0 victory uh, over Kayazi. And then Basic Bees took that five-game series. And so I think this is definitely one of the best matchups of the day. I think we could see that both of these are certainly teams that could be in that top four. Yeah, it's so hard. I mean, it's it's so difficult to to kind of extrapolate that right now. I think we have kind of what most people would consider the top three in the Scarlet Wings uh, upper 90 and 72 PC if, if they live up to the expectations. But below that, it's just it's such a battle for, for fourth. Which mm-hmm. makes it which makes it awesome. I mean, basic, you know, again, a, a team that, you know, I, I all of what I was saying about Chaosy, I was talking more about basic uh, earlier, you know, but but Chaosy, they played Sakura Blues pretty close. I mean, it was an O three series, but it didn't feel that way, at least when we were calling it. Yeah, I know. I agree with you. Um... We'll just again. We'll have to see today again. Rocket League is one of those one of those games where you really have to show up on the day. Uh, it depends on uh, how you're feeling, and like you said, there are some for sure top teams uh, coming out really strong. But it'll be it'll be interesting to see if some some other teams can pull it together and really find their team chemistry to to land themselves in fourth place or even uh, prove us wrong and get in the top three themselves all right and then let's talk about the first match of the day uh coming up here extreme zone who struggled against uh, scarlet wings in that week one and then upper 90 who barely got that win over basic bees um for this one i mean the question is you know can extreme zone keep up with the great play that upper 90 seemed to show in that week one i think extreme zone really needs to step it up uh, yeah, you, you say that they struggled in week one, and I'm going to say they're going to struggle in week two. I mean, I like all of the players individually from Extreme Zone. I think they have a lot of talent on that team. Uh, but again, I mean, Upper 90 is a team that has the staying power, not just in this league, but in the scene in general. And I don't expect to see them going to all five games every week, certainly. I think we were surprised last week to see them go at all five. And, you know, Extreme Zone could certainly defy expectations here, but I just don't think it's going to be against an upper 90 team. I, I, I want to I agree with you here, too. Um, I just I want to see a stronger defense from Extreme Zone and just a little bit more. Uh, I don't know. I, I felt like they were kind of disconnected as far as as making those plays, but. We'll have to see. Maybe they will surprise us. But I think that I think that upper ninety has the upper hand in this in this first <laughs> series. <laughs> yes, they will certainly have to um, make their defense a little bit more extreme on that side. So let's move right into oh. the pickups then. Um, you didn't even use zone. <laughs> you could have said they need to make their defense is more extreme in their defensive zone. It would have been perfect. <laughs> Well, they're uh, not running zone defense. I mean, you're right because we're not playing football. <laughs> Correct. But... <laughs> oh, it's kind of zone defense. There's kind of zones. There's the one, two, three. I mean, <laughs> you know that that sound that sounds to me like it would be an interesting concept. To, like, I have explore. like thought about it. Yeah, like zone defense in Rocket League. I I thought about that before. <laughs> I play a lot of basketball growing up, so you got to start drawing up plays. <laughs> all right well let's let's move right into pickums here so match one i'll start out here i think that upper 90 is probably going to take out extreme zone here just everything that we've seen i mean upper 90 went completely undefeated without dropping a game in the qualifiers and i know it's two weeks past that but i mean i think i think that's it that's it upper 90 got this yeah it's going to be hard for me to disagree with you <laughs> on this one. I r- would absolutely love to see Extreme Zone prove me wrong. Absolutely would. But it just it doesn't I don't think it's going to happen. I think this is an upper 90 game all the way through. Yep. I don't know if anything Extreme Zone can come out uh, like a stronger team. I want to see them 
hold their own against them, surprise us maybe with a win uh, or two, or, you know, come out on top. But I, I agree with you guys. I think uh, Upper 90 is going to have the win here. All right, and then moving on to our second match of the day, Sakura Blues versus Basic Bees. Um, Haunted, why don't you get us started on this one? Yeah, this one is very interesting. Mm -hmm. With Sakura Blues playing uh, Chaosy, I mean, Alice looked fantastic on defense last week. It's going to be important when you're playing against a player with the sheer... Uh, skill of, of for sure and and the people that that she surrounds herself with it's it's going to to be very interesting to see if crimson can find the space necessary to to score the goals that she is so known for but um yeah i think it's going to be a low scoring series even though we have high powered offenses on either side and goodness this is hard i wasn't expecting to make this <laughs> prediction but i i'm going to go with basic in five games Wow. Basic five games. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be so much fun to watch. Um, just because, like you said, if Crimson can find the room to to perform and do the things that she does, then we'll, we'll see an interesting game here. Um, I'm going to go with Basic also, just because it's just so hard to choose between the two. <laughs> and uh, Hunter has a pretty good insight. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm, we're gonna be so wrong. I hope you're ready for this. Like soccer <laughs> blues is gonna win in three games. I, if they do, you know, I'll I'll at them and say <laughs> I, I, I was wrong. I was wrong, and I'm sorry. And I bet it against you. And, you know, but it's gonna be it's gonna be great to see. Yeah, for Either sure, way. for sure. It's a it's a tough one to to pick, <sighs> and we'll so see if for sh I know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if soccer blues can uh, make the basic bees continue to feel the blues put them down 0 2 i think they are better. i should have never made a pun <laughs> soccer blue hey you don't I've know who you're dealing with have you seen have you seen my streams you can't stop this <laughs> it, it happens it happens the, door, the floodgates i'm open. gonna i'm gonna pick soccer of blues to go over basic bees they're gonna go 2 and 0 basic bees are gonna find themselves in an 0 and 2 hole that they're probably gonna climb out of and be 5 and 2 so Let's go to match wow. three then. Kazi versus Boosted E Girls. Let's start with Anito. Um, Kazi versus Boosted E Girls. Well, I just I'm hoping to see. Uh, this is going to be another one of those matches where I feel like it could go um, either way. The Boosted E Girls didn't quite uh, have their chance to shine last week. And same with Kazi. So hopefully this this week they they have a better chance, a more even matchup. I'm gonna go with Kazi on this one. I think okay. that they're gonna come out on top. Um, but again, we might find ourselves in a series that will go to all all five games. Yeah, I think that the what's how this series is going. What the series is going to hinge on is. Does Kazi use the frustration from last week against Soccer Blues in a good way, or do they let it hinder them? Do are they empowered, or are they hindered by the frustration on on the offensive side of the ball? Because you know that they're a, a team that can score goals, but again, uh, Alice was just a superstar on defense last week, and you know Alpha herself, she is also very dangerous on the defensive side of the ball. Um, so it's going to be up to Kazi, I think, to set the pace in the game play the way that they want to play. And if they can do that, I think that they will take the series. And, um, you know, I I'm confident in their abilities to do so. So I'm going to say Kazi, uh 3-1. But, uh, you know, you know, to, to go with the puns, I think if this is Rocket League, it is pure chaos most of the time. And I <laughs> would not be surprised if we see another five-game series. Yeah, I think it's just a complete question of how boosted are the boosted e-girls or are they for real? I mean, they prove that they belong here. They came up in the qualifier. I don't think they're boosted at all. I think that is false um, <laughs> advertising and as chaotic as this one might be. I'm going to go with the boosted e-girls in five games. There you go. All right. So we are not going to do our pickums for the fourth one because... Right. It's predetermined. Illegal. <laughs> and I know what happens. So 
<laughs> All right. Um, we will be moving forward with the first games here in just about five minutes. Extreme Zone versus Upper 90, and that will be casted by Nito and RJ. So stick around. That one's going to be an absolute blast. And, uh, well, I would assume you'd stick around. I, I assume you're here to watch the games and not talk about, uh, not listen to the talking heads uh, procrastinate uh, into this. So we'll be right back. Ha <laughs> ha. 